This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by Skillshare. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and welcome back to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a super simple yet a trendy looking logo animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. You can use this technique to create your own cool looking logo animation for your YouTube channel or maybe to represent your brand or your company. It's super cool, looks very trendy and modern. So without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and get started. Alright guys, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition just like we always do. I'll call this main as our main comp. We can go with 1920 by 1080. 30 FPS and 10 seconds looks good. Hit OK. Let's create one more composition which is going to be our logo placeholder. So I'll call this logo with the same exact settings. Hit OK. And then I can drag and drop in any logo that I want to use. So in this case, I will be using an Adidas logo. You can obviously use your own logo. Let's add a fill effect on this so we can color this logo up. And let's make this white color. Hit OK. Go back into our main composition. Let's drag and drop in the logo comp. So here we have it. And it's a bit too big so I can select the logo layer hit S and bring down the scaling just maybe around 50% looks good let's go back into our main comp and now we need to create a map to drive the animation so to do that I'm gonna create one more new composition call this map hit OK let's hit Control Y to create a new solid call this um, let's call this ramp Going to fix and preset and type in ramp as we will be using gradient ramp for this. And then let's add one more effect called posturize. So let's add that up. And now you can see we get this um, posturize level of the gradient that we have in the background. So this will help to drive the animation. Let's go back into our main composition, go into the project panel and drag and drop in the map comp. We can hide this. We don't need to see it. Select the logo layer and on this layer, I will be using an effect called displacement map. Double click to apply that up and in the displacement map layer, I'm going to set this from logo to map. And now if I bring down the max horizontal displacement to zero and play around with the vertical displacement, you can see we get this really cool effect. And basically the gradient in the background, as you can see, is driving the animation. Pretty interesting. Right now you can go back into your map composition and increase the number of posturized levels to let's say something like if I go with 20 and if I go back into a main comp, you can see it looks different and definitely looks pretty cool. So using this effect, you can do a number of different things. You can create this cool animation as you can see, but I will set this to let's go with something like 10. And then we can hide the map layer. So at the very start, I'm going to set this to minus somewhere around. Let's go with there so that our logo is completely out of the frame create a keyframe go to around one second and 15 frames and let's bring that down to zero so now we have a really interesting look as you can see let's hit u so we can see the keyframes select the keyframes hit f9 to ease ease them go into the graph editor and if your graph editor is not looking like this make sure you right click and select edit speed graph select this point and drag the handle to the left so we have a bit more interesting animation as you can see looks super nice 
pretty cool now i also want to add some motion blur to this which is not possible using the inbuilt blur that we regularly use so we need to add a fake motion blur to this so in order to do that i'm gonna go into effects and preset and let's type in a directional blur and if i increase this you can see we get a really nice blur and it looks pretty good right so let's go at the very start um let's set this to around let's set this to zero actually create a keyframe go right over here where the animation is a bit more fast and let's increase this really high somewhere around 35 and then go to one second and 15 frames and set this back to zero then i'm gonna select the layer hit u so we can see the keyframes select the keyframes hit f9 go into the graph editor and then let's tweak the graph a bit so let's make this let's increase the blur gradually you know as the motion speeds up the blur increases so it gives a much more convincing look let's select this point and um, drag this to the left just like so and now we have this really nice blur as you can see not blur let's call this a motion blur before i proceed further with this tutorial let's take a look at today's sponsor skillshare skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creatives and curious people on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing and more. Skillshare offers class designed for real life so you can move your creative journey forward without putting life on hold. You can check out this animation course for motion design on Skillshare to learn more about motion graphics and animation. Skillshare is also incredibly affordable, especially when compared to pricey in-person classes and workshops. The first 1000 people to click the link in the description below will get access to 2 free months of premium membership to Skillshare. Now let's go ahead and add that nice RGB spell effect. So to do that, I'm going to select both of these layers, hit Ctrl Shift C to pre-compose it. Call this, let's call this animation. And then go into fix and preset type in shift channels double click to apply that up so now we need to turn off the green and the blue channel so let's select the green channel set this to full off select the blue channel set this to full off so we have only the red channel at the moment let's select this hit f4 so we can see the blending modes and let's set the blending mode to add then select the layer hit ctrl d to duplicate it select the second one set the red to full off and set the green to green basically duplicate this again select the third one set the green to full off and turn on the blue and now i'm going to displace them by just one frame so i'm going to move that just a frame forward and now you can see we get this very interesting rgb fill pretty sweet I can pretty quickly add a background to this so hit ctrl y create a new solid call this pg and let's go with a nice darker blue background so as you can see it's looking pretty nice and as you saw it's so simple and easy to create now you can play around with this effect and create a number of different things for example if I show you guys pretty quickly, I can select the second one that is a green channel. Go into effects and presets and type in CC um, scale wipe is the effect I'm looking for. Double click. And if I increase the stretch and set this to zero, you can see we get a really interesting look which reminds me of that nice glitch animation so you can basically animate this if you want to so i can go to around 10 frames create a keyframe on the stretch go back to around 20 and set this to zero you know something like that something interesting that you can do and same way i can select this hit ctrl c let's go on to the red channel hit ctrl v and set the direction to 90 oh 180 and now we have 
this really cool look so there are a number of different things that you can do play around with this cool technique and also changing the logo is super simple i, I can just go into the logo comp and drag and drop in my um, you know a different logo basically scale that down and then let's add a fill on this really quick and boom there we have a really interesting look with a different logo so that is how you can create this very cool and trending looking logo animation inside of after effects without using any plugins also you can add some text to complete the composition and make it look even more cooler so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure to subscribe comment like and follow me on instagram at dope.motions i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out